Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today and I can tell you right now that I am pumped. I can honestly tell you that uh, when I was looking uh, over some, oh, this is some wrestling news I'm talking about, I was looking over some wrestling headlines, I had seen the headlines that war games uh, were returning to WWE. I, I can honestly tell you that I did not read a story. Um, I just, you know, just kind of skipped it over. I figured that, you know, they were going to do war games and NXT once again. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to know, you know, what was going on uh, because I haven't watched the NXT product in a while. But I, I'm guaranteeing that because I like the war game style matches, I still live through the past. I uh, remember those awesome war games, uh, all except for the last two uh, in WCW. Um, you know, I, I was like, I was just gonna mark it on the calendar. Halloween Havoc, war games, let's go. And listening to a podcast today, listen to a little Mac Mania. Actually, hear the drop from uh, I believe it was from Monday Night Raw with Corey Graves making the announcement that uh, War Games was coming to WWE for the first time. It's actually going to be held at the Survivor Series pay per view. They're going to have two War Games matches. I don't think if it's set in stone, but as of right now, I think because of the equality uh, that they have in the world and the equality they have in, in WWE, much like with the Royal Rumble, I'm guessing that one War Games match is going to feature um, the, the, the men of the roster and the other one would be a, a woman's match. Um, so I immediately started thinking, you know, what was going on? You know, Survivor Series the past two years has been, you know, Raw versus SmackDown, which I honestly get hyped for. Uh, there was one uh, Survivor Series a couple years ago where they did like, uh, I think like SmackDown invaded Raw as I was watching it live. And I was like, I'm going to this shit. Like this, this is fucking awesome. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a damn good build to a show. Maybe they did it one few too, too many times. The podcast I was I was listening to, you know, they were, you know, is this supposed to be what bragging rights was uh, at one point in WWE with the Raw versus SmackDown, um, counting the matches and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I grew up with Survivor Series. I remember the way that it used to be back in the day. Um, you know, with the, the Mega Bucks against the Hulkamaniacs. Or I guess it would be the Mega Powers, I guess is what the name of the team was. But where they really put five-on-five five matches for the first two Survivor Series, I believe. Um, and everybody in every match had a storyline that they were supposed to be there. It wasn't just like, give me five guys out of the heel locker room. Give me five baby faces and let's have a match out here. That's... That's kind of what it turned into um, around the like 2010 era uh, when they were just like, oh, it's Survivor Series. We forgot to book one of these matches. So we just got to put one out there. Um, you know, it, la it would later turn into the four on fours. 1995 had probably one of the last really good actual Survivor Series matches. That one's still always weird. Really good match. But when, you, when I look at it, I just can't figure out like why are the baby faces and the heels mixed up like each team has two baby faces each team has two heels uh it works to the point where they don't get along during the match but it just really doesn't make sense why they're teaming up with each other um anyways but i can honestly tell you get back on point not less about survivor series war games is that survivor series but um you know I'm pumped. I mean, I lived through the glory days of WCW when they made the announcement that NXT was going to bring back war games. They really did it right. They don't really have the Undisputed Era anymore um, to, to, to deliver those matches. Um, they really were an awesome thing for NXT to have to, to put those matches over. Um, but uh, I, I'm pumped. I mean, you go back, you know, the, the war games was built around the four horsemen the four horsemen were like the dirty heels like if you didn't live through that time period they were like they were 10 times worse than the nwo was because honestly when it came down to it yeah they did things behind the referee's back yeah they cheated yeah they would interfere in each other's matches but when it really came down to it at the big big shows 
Ric Flair just walked out there and he whooped your ass. Tully Blanchard was gonna beat almost anybody on that roster. If it wasn't for Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard probably would have been the World Heavyweight Champion of the NWA. Then you got Arn out there, it doesn't matter what he's using for a tag team partner, you know, it's there. It, but when it came down to it and the baby faces united and they were all in the same match and it was five on five out there, they would always start with the, you know, the, the, the coin flip where just miraculously they're on like the hugest undefeated streak of all time. The heels have won every uh, coin flip. They would start the match with a two on one advantage. And then every couple of minutes, somebody would come in there and then the match actually didn't start until everybody was in the ring. And then when it come down to it, there's only one way they're ending that match by submission, by one team saying that team is better than our team today and this is going to be the end all be all. It is what the steel cage match was to rivalries back in the 80s. Um, I'm just hoping that this really does deliver because it's something that I've been looking for for a long time. I know on paper, I've heard from interviews with writers that were in WWE at the time. I believe it was back in 2002. There was a build for, would that be 2002? I know it was for Evolution. I know there was a build for Evolution to end up in a War Games match in WWE and Vince McMahon scrapped it because it was a WCW creation. Even though, you know, it was Dusty Rhodes that created it and they loved to put Dusty Rhodes over as being this ultimate wrestling mind, he created it while he worked for the other guys and it was first on their show and if they took it and put it on there, They'd just be copying WCW and wanted to be them. Why in 2002, we got the NWO. Now, I got no clue because under the same things, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe they could have brought in, you know, Hogan, Hall, and Nash and had them together, but it could have been Razor, Diesel, and Hulk Hogan. And they did not call it the NWO and, and gave it, some, just call it the black and white. <laughs> Something like that, close enough, but it's just not the NWO, so it's different because Vince is the one pushing it, and um, it is what it is. But um, I'm pumped. I'm, I, I, when I heard that announcement, even though I knew the announcement, just didn't know the full extent of the announcement, I think that they're really going to deliver on this. I think the Survivor Series right now is a calendar um, you know, posting moment. You put that on the calendar. That way you know when it comes up on Peacock, you're not missing it. Because I'm pumped. Survivor Series. War Games. Let's go.